stress, the, the, what we, let's talk a little bit about what we mean by stress, uh, because I think it's important. We've got positive stress when you have a, 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 an sense of exhilaration in a, for a challenge and you generally can achieve what you want to do. And then you have tolerable stress where uh, something really bad happens, uh, but you can weather the storm because you have good social support mechanisms, you have good resilience, you have a good sense of self-esteem and so forth, and, and you can get through it. And then you have what's called toxic stress, which, just as it implies, causes damage or pathophysiology because you're not in a position where you can handle it. It's, you're out of control, sense of control. You don't have support systems. Uh, and and you, it's a self-generating situation where you may eat too many of the wrong things, smoke, drink, not sleep very well, uh, as well as feel anxious and stressed out you know, every day. And these wear and tear on the body and the brain uh, and cause the dysregulation of, for example, too much cortisol or too little cortisol, a lot of infl inflammatory products, a lot of sympathetic activation, so a lot of adrenaline, uh, not enough of the parasympathetic system, which tends to slow the heart down and quell inflammation. That dysregulation can lead over long periods of time to something that we call allostatic load, which is a wear and tear on the body. And what can, what can help it? Well, physical activity uh, is very beneficial because it helps to rebalance the system. Getting a good night's sleep, which is sometimes easier said than done if you're worried, is also a very uh, beneficial activity. E controlling diet, of course, we all know that, controlling alcohol and smoking and things of that sort. And above all else, having good social support, not becoming isolated. All of these things are things that the brain processes. I mean, in a sense, the brain is the central organ of stress. And what we think and how we feel, especially if we're optimistic, pessimistic, if we feel totally stressed out and out of control, determines the balance of all of these uh, physiologic systems that over time can do us in, basically.